Hello, it's Dave at VTR and today we're at the Vintage Toy Monster. We're here to see Ian, the owner of the shop, and we're on the hunt for some vintage toys. So let's take a look through this amazing place and see what we've picked up along the way. first cabinet I dived into was the Action Force one. Ian has an amazing selection of Action Force and G.I. Joe. And I picked up these two figures, the first being the Red Shadow. He's not in great condition, but he's very good for army building. And I also picked up this Series 1 US Paratrooper. I've been looking for this guy for a while. He doesn't have the accessories, but I do have the parachute harness. One day I'll find the parachute as well. But these were just <laughs> too good a price to just leave behind, so I picked these up. Here we have a Migo Shazam figure. Now this actually wasn't bought by myself. This was bought by DCB June whilst I was outside the front of the shop taking in some of the fresh coastal air. She bought this as a birthday present and it's awesome. It's from the 1970s and as you can see, the condition is really, really good. Decent paintwork, really nice condition outfit, all the accessories, even the original sticker on the front there. This is amazing. So thank you very much, DCB June. And you know this is gonna go on display in the collection room. And it's gonna look awesome. What? Dave has some wrestling figures? What's going on? I know, I know, I know nothing about wrestling. Well, I know this is Hulk Hogan, that's for sure. And these are Hasbro WWF figures from the early 1990s. I've got two of them. There were in fact a number of <laughs> Hulk Hogan figures, not surprising, considering his popularity in the WWF range. And I've picked these two up. They're not for me, they're for my brother who's a fan of wrestling and in particular Hulk Hogan and he's been looking for these for a while. And as you saw, Ian has a huge selection of WWF wrestling figures. So I picked these up for my brother. Now I do actually have some wrestling figures. These were gifts from Salacious Rum. These are Legion of Doom. And he sent them to me because their catchphrase was, what a rush. <laughs> and I still have these proudly in my cabinets.
As you saw from the Star Wars cabinet, there are plenty of goodies to choose from, but I'm on a bit of a die-cast kick at the moment, and I had to pick up this snow speeder. It looks fantastic. You've got the harpoon gun there on the back. You have a retractable landing gear. And well, the figures are just pieces of orange blobby plastic. That's Luke in the front there, apparently. And I also picked up the Slave One. What a great looking vehicle this is. And just like its larger cousin, the wings stay level as you rotate. That's pretty awesome. You've got the laser cannons on the front. It's rather plain, but if you look inside the cockpit, there is a miniature Boba Fett. How cool is that? Now, I haven't picked up a turtle figure in a long, long time. I've been trying to collect the first 10 for many, many years now, and this was spotted in the shop. It's a foot soldier. Now, he has his three weapons. Ian was very, very kind. He had two of these foot soldiers, but neither of them were complete. So he created one that was complete for me. So I really, really appreciate that, Ian. As you can see, he's got his mace, he has his dagger, and he's got this turtle biter thing on his back. Really nice looking figure. It has the crouching stance like Shredder. In fact, this is one of Shredder's minions. There is a weapons rack that is missing, but I'll hunt that down, no problem at all. I've got one more left now to find from the first 10, and that's April. As I was paying, I had another look through that glorious glass cabinet. There are a stack of vintage cards. There are also some boxed Brave Star items, which were very tempting. But I picked up this Indiana Jones Temple of Doom pack. You've got 10 movie photo cards, a sticker, and some bubble gum. I wouldn't recommend eating that bubble gum. It's decades old. And I also picked up this Rambo First Blood Part 2 pack as well with picture card, sticker, and bubble gum. And I'll use these to enhance my display, so these will go on the shelves in the collection room. And here's everything that we managed to find in the vintage Toy Monster shop on our day out. Thanks again, Ian, for an amazing day, for helping us. We really enjoyed ourselves. As you can see, we picked up some awesome vintage items. I highly recommend this shop, and there is no doubt that we'll be back soon. And if you want to go and visit the Vintage Toy Monster shop, they're down on the south coast of the UK in Portsmouth. They're open on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and always available for appointments. I highly, highly recommend making a visit. They have an awesome range of vintage toys and also modern stuff as well. Thanks for making it this far. Leave a comment, like and subscribe, or try some of these other VTR classics. Until next time, stay safe and cheers.